Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and this is a case of a Chiari 1 malformation of the hind brain. So the cranial vault where the brain fits in is too small congenitally in these patients, and the cerebellum, which is a normal size, doesn't fit in there. So it has no place to go but down, and so it migrates down through the frame and magnum. So the frame and magnum is the opening between the cranial vault and the cervical canal. So the cervical spinal canal is a tube here, and the cranial vault holds the brain, and the cervical canal holds just the spinal cord. Well, again, the cerebellum doesn't fit, and so it goes down, migrates downward into the frame and magnum, into this area where we should only see the spinal cord. So if I draw a line here through where it should not go below, this is the line right through here, and the cerebellum should be at that level or above it, typically. If it goes just a touch below, not a big deal, but this goes way too far below. And when it migrates down like this, it will push on this structure here. This is the brain stem. We have a pons, there's ovoid, the medulla here, and you can see that by going downward, it's pushing forward on the brain stem, and that can ca cause abnormal flow mechanics. There's white stuff here. This is all fluid surrounding the spinal cord, surrounding the brain, and that fluid goes down through here and comes back up, and with the abnormal pressures here, it can cause abnormal flow. It can cause uh, different symptoms uh, like headaches and other things, and also the patients get flattening of the the very front of the brainstem here. Sometimes they can have fluid within the spinal cord, and this patient does not have that. And these patients, since this is a developmental anomaly, they can other, have other developmental anomalies where the bones are fused together here, or sometimes the skull base is fused with the cervical spine. But this is again called a Chiari 1 malformation of the hindbrain with inferior migration of the cerebellar tonsils. This is called the cerebellar tonsil, the bottom part of the cerebellum that, that goes down or migrates down through here. And this is a pretty quick, I'm sorry, pretty easy fix from what I understand surgically. They go back here and just remove part of this bone, the occipital bone, and now there's enough room for the uh, cerebellum to fit back here and it doesn't put pressure right here on the brainstem. So thank you very much. A Chiari 1 malformation of the hind brain.